Hello YouTube. Hello people. Hello dear friend. All the fanatics of political cable. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have watched the videos uh, that I recently uploaded, you will see that last one stopped with me showing you this uh, secret little box. I'm going to make a separate video on installation of this part and also full test. And let's see if this here will help us to get the boards moving on uneven surfaces much better without changing the motors and without changing the batteries. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but well, that's why I'm making this video to find out and share with you guys. Original idea came from one of my subscribers, and uh, maybe you know who you are. I finally got around to order this part, and it's here now. I never understood, or I couldn't come up with the idea where to use this part when it was originally just suggested to me. But now I do have a good understanding what this could be used for and what the benefits might be. So all the way from mainland China. I did buy this part online. I was the only way I was able to find it. It was I think eBay. So what we got here? Two bags. One separate bag with uh, bolts, allen key, screws, well, pretty much looks like everything we'll need to install this kit onto uh, my board. By now you probably guys do understand what this is. This here is a conversion kit to allow you guys to install dual wheel on your skateboard. Not necessarily electric skateboard, normal push ska uh, skateboard, or electric skateboard. In my instance, it's going to be the electric skateboard. <laughs> that, is, that is one crazy looking board. Look at this. That's <laughs> spot on. So it's quite easy to figure out how this uh, kit works. Pretty much you take your original wheel off the board. Then you take this swing arm here. These raised bits are outwards. So you put the new swing arm onto your uh, board where the wheel used to be. Put a washer on that, I would have thought. And you also got a lock nut. So why not? Next step is to take the long screws provided and they go nice and neat from inside, so meaning this way. There is a recess here, so the bolt does not show through. So while you put the one, when you put the, bo uh, the bolt through the swing arm, you take your wheel, you put it onto uh, the bolt. See at the moment it's touching. It's touching the bottom, so this is why you have all these washers provided to space out the wheel so it stops rubbing. There we go. So now it's not rubbing, so I'm going to install it as I normally would. Then you repeat exactly the same with the other side. It looks like I'm going to need some uh, extra washers. But because I work on different boards and I also work on my bike, I've got a lot of these, so I don't need to go in the shop and buy them. And same thing with the second wheel. The Allen key is provided for this bolt. Fits right in. And you use your normal uh, trucks kit tool or skateboard kit tool and you tighten this all up okay my idea is we are now splitting the weight of your body and the board across two wheels on one side 
So in total, across four wheels, instead of just two. The weight distribution should be much better. You got quite a lot of movement here, so if any uneven surface comes up, these wheels will move. And hopefully this will do the trick. Guys, something just came off while I was putting the, uh, the kit on. Uh, I've made a mistake when I stated that you use the provided uh, locking nuts for the axles. It's not the case. What you need to do is you need to use uh, this locking uh, nuts for the new bolts. So you use your original uh, locking nuts from your trucks in order to fix the swing arm onto your uh, board's truck. So I'm just slowly tightening that up, checking the wobble, and there we go. It's moving nicely, and it doesn't have a lot of movement. And I'm going to use a spacer that normally comes with the wheel. It's much smaller, but it does sit nicely on the bearing. Put that on, and there we go. Look at this. Perfect. And we do exactly the same for all uh, four wheels. So I have finished the installation of this new kit and this is what the board is going to look like with that install. There we go. So what we have here now is a standard normal board, same wheels, uh, same motor, same battery with the difference that I've installed the swing arm and now on the front we've got two wheels on each side instead of one. So let's take a look a bit closer on how this works. So guys, the idea is that the front trucks now have two air wheels and they are positioned on a uh, swing arm. So when you come up to a obstacle, you see what's happening? The front wheel crawls onto the obstacle, the rear wheel still keeps the weight of the rider and the board and then follows the front wheel without digging in. So the first test actually on the road. Let's see, <laughs> that is so sick. This looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, let's take a look how this monstrosity is going to perform on the road. It's definitely much louder. How about the rough surfaces? <laughs> cool. So while we're at it, let's try the uh, turning circle. Well, turning circle is almost the width of the road, pretty much standard same as it was with the uh, normal dual wheels so guys, the moment of truth exactly the same ground as we tested the other wheels but now we got the dual front
definitely better. The front doesn't dig into the ground as much anymore. So you don't have that feeling of falling off when you hit something uh, quite deep. But the motors are still too weak. So it's not ideal off-road, to be honest with you. But what we do is, for the last test, if you look really carefully, the motor mounts already hit quite hard. And this is pretty for the reason of replacing the wheels for 83 millimeter wheels. That's one thing I don't like about these tiny wheels. They don't have enough meat on the rubber, on the polyurethane, and the motor mounts get too close to the ground. So what we do is, let's swap the rear wheels out for the rough stuff wheels. It'll give us a bit more clearance and uh, maybe a bit more uh, speed on off-road. So we are back. That is the weirdest looking board that you will find. Look at this. I have changed the wheels at the back for the rough stuff wheels much more uh, meat on them I prefer it a lot more let's see if there's any difference that looks cool doesn't it to do is let's test the range of a new slick revolution remote okay now I know you can see it so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start walking away from the board So we've got 21 steps before the board cuts out. <laughs> so guys, so the last test will be, uh, it just looks so sick this board, look at this. Rough stuff wheels in the back, rough stuff, uh, the normal 83 mil at the front, but duals. Let's just take this board around the block, just to see how she, how she moves at all, in general. Now I know we'll not hit the motor mounts, because I got the rough stuff wheels at the back, curbs as well definitely yeah you can hardly feel them that is so strange that's that's probably a better improvement than actually using the uh, board of road ah, here we go my favorite stones yeah still jumpy Thanks. 
circle. There we go, that's the turning circle of this board with this front. 